Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to WISRP. I'm jumping in here. I'm about to beat up with my brother. He's he, he's renting a room. I'm renting a room. My house burnt down. He's just keeping me company for the weekend. He's visiting out of town. Fucking, I, I, I don't know. I don't know where 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 Gene's at. But hopefully that motherfucker stays away. Fucking always trying to send me to jail. Burning my house down all the time, burning my fucking cars down, fucking felon. Tried killing me like two or three times, but he he, he failed. That's because he, he he's fucking dumb because he tried working out above his trucks and they all caught on fire and blew up. Fucking dumbass, fucking felon. I'm just waiting for my brother to show up. I'm just gonna chill out here. A few moments later. Mm -hmm. Just had a little bit of beer. Now I'm gonna go check in in the motel. Ah oh, man, fucking seatbelt. I'm tired of this fucking thing. Oh, dude, all rooms have a fucking thing. Ah right, man, let's uh, let's go on down here to the fucking motel, man. <clears throat> Uh, brother, what's up, man? Uh, what's going on, man? Uh, I think I need to check in down there. No, he just walks right past me. All right. My brother's kind of been a dick, but it is what it is. I mean, we're both dicks. We fucking hate no. people that cause problems with us. No way. That can't be. I'm. I'm gonna fucking ignore. Hey, what's up, man? You're in room back, twenty, man. Back up. So what's up? You're in room 20. Uh, I... I got room 21. Uh, I gotta go check into this fucking motel. Oh shit. Is that gunshots? It didn't sound like that. I didn't, lo I didn't like the way the TV looked at me. Oh damn. Well you need to stay out here and smoke a cigarette. Should be a quiet night. It's pretty peaceful out here tonight. Hopefully no one comes and causes us problems. Fuck you mean cigarette. Oh shit, a bong? Hell yeah. Think the cops finna show after that? Nah, they shouldn't. Yeah, All right. I'm checking this motel here. Hey yo, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I'm here to run a room. Dude, I feel like me and you look two completely different people right now. That's why you. That's why you're my cousin. Thought I was your brother. I have the same last name. Uh, then don't matter. It don't matter. You can still oh, be cousins. Yeah, we can still yeah. be cousins. So, yeah, so you're my cousin. Ah. I just call you brother because we're so close. What's uh? Except if we have we look like we live two completely different lifestyles. What it? What I'm sitting my, uh... outside driving a fucking demon right now. You're smoking a cigarette. I'm smoking a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're in room uh, 22. Yeah, you're 22. And you're upstairs by the back by the pool. Alright, thank you. I'll take the keys. Uh, no, I don't know about your two's past, eh? Yeah, you don't. You don't know nothing. You're gonna find out when he comes. I'm gonna tell you. I'm like, I'm, oh. from, I'm, I'm here from LA. Yeah, I just moved from LA. And then when he comes up and we see him, that's when I'm gonna bring him up. I'm, oh yeah, I just I got pulled. Uh, you said 22, I think that's in the back. Uh, Upstairs. Oh my god, they actually have the yeah, pool, that's bad. sick, I kinda wanna go swimming. Yeah, that's why I made me a swimming attire, so eventually I wanna do where Gene says, fuck you guys, I'm gonna go swimming. I mean, may maybe I won't get annoyed by you guys, mm. but then we're gonna go down there and annoy them. Ooh, they got rocket chairs, uh, 19, you said 22. Uh, Did it actually um, sound like straight gunshots from my room? Uh, to be honest with you, guys. what's going on, man? Wait a minute. Hey, anybody know where room 22 is? Yeah, it's the one right next to mine. Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> which one? Hey, yo, cousin. Yeah, that's that's the guy that's been fucking following me around. That's my fucking neighbor that's been causing problems for the past few years. Right. What did you say? 
You got a problem? He he might try to call the cops on us because he's a fucking felon. He's always trying to get me to go to jail. Now that you're with me, he's trying to probably call because you're smoking a bong. Mm. I mean, you can hide that in your room. They can't search at a warrant. Nah, man. Dude, there's a fucking fly pissing me off. I'm goddamn done with it. Mm. Done with this fucking fly. I don't Bro, know if I can let me hear catch you back in. I don't think I can hear you guys out there. Good, good. Keep it that way. <laughs> good. You should call the cops on uh, my buddy for smoking on a bong. Nah, you said it's hella illegal, man. <laughs> you trying to go to jail? That's, that's what I'm saying. When he comes out, because he's going to come out, usually Gene tells him when he calls the cops, he's like, I call the cops on you, so then you can go hide the bong in your room, and they can't search your room. Yeah, I'll hide it in your room since... Yeah, you can hide it in my room. They can't search my room either. But they, they, it's it's on me. Just don't mention that we're cousins. No. Okay. Until the cops just show up out of nowhere and I don't even notice. They okay. just like, come around the corner and they're still smoking along. Mm, what the fuck is this? That's okay. Usually, what, you, usually what we... <laughs> but no, usually what we do is when we do the 911 calls, we let each other know that I call the cops, you motherfucker, and then like, we, we give us time to hide this shit so that way we don't get trumped up. Because we want the cops to work for arresting one of us. A few moments later. Hey, you fucking felon. You better not be causing no fucking ruckus tonight. What did you say? You heard me. Why the fuck you even at these motels anyways? Why the fuck you even here? Because you burnt my fucking trailer down. And you burnt my fucking trailer down. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly, my ass. Yeah, whatever, fucking felon. Why you keep fucking following me around? Why you keep... I was here before you. You showed up at when I was here. It's the cheapest place around. Yep, it sure is. This is what my insurance is paying for since you burnt my trailer down. Well, that's what my insurance allowed me. Yeah, well, you should have never left your stove on. Yo, we got a problem? Yeah, he's over here causing more shit. I think, I think he's going to call the cops. It's someone I've known we for a long time. We don't want no problems. Oh, yeah? Keep your problems to yourself. Keep your problems to yourself. Look at yeah. He's got a gun in his hand. He's trying to act all big and bad. Oh, yeah, your boy, your boy over there has got a gun, too. Bet you I got more bullets in my clip. You got right the bare arms, man. Oh, my eyes. I walk down? Yeah, I need, I need to go complain and tell this lady, man. What the fuck are these caps doing here? Yeah, he right here. Oh shit, oh shit. Yep, see I told you, I'm going back upstairs. See I told you, he's gonna call the cops. Typical fucking felon. Calls the cops all the fucking time. I didn't do shit. Yeah, man, I know what you mean. Had a few people like that in my block back in LA. Oh my god, we should... Oh, you, you still play L You still play uh, LA? Yep. Good shit. Should I just like start? I'm sorry, smoking a blunt. There. Yeah. Medical card. But if the cops ask, I don't know you. You don't know me. I. We just we just all got rooms next to each other. Yep. Till so they run. Till they run our names and ask questions. But then, but then you're like, yeah. And then if if they do, then you could say that, yeah, I'm his cousin. But what's it do? It's none of your fucking business what I am to him. Nah, he's gonna be like, you guys relate. I'll be like, what's it to you? Yeah, what's it to you? Doesn't matter if we're related. Just know that I know the guy. You can smoke in Wisconsin with a medical card, right? Tech, if you got a medical card, yeah. But technically, I mean, from what one cop had told me before, you could have like one joint on you, and that's as much as you could have. But then yeah, that's all I got. But then apparently, I uh, my room. but then but then there was another time that cops told me and Dicky that we can't have no weed on us whatsoever. So we heard di mixed reactions because one cop told us we could to a certain amount because it's kind of a legal state, but not fully legal. But then the other I'm cops told us it's not. So I'm gonna go out to my car. Yep. You, you could be my eyewitness and tell me what's going on. Chance of rain. Oh fuck. It's gonna start pouring, I swear to god. So I'm going to my car. Hey, that'll be cool if it starts to rain, because then they'll make a better scene. I like when it rains. It makes it dark and gloomy for the videos.
<laughs> this cop tried coming up to me saying, hey man, my windows are up though, so I just drove off. Yep, you wouldn't hear him. I, I, my bumper's coming off. I hate when cops do that. Your windows are up and they think that you No, I don't fucking hear you. My windows are up. <laughs> Eventually. I don't know where you got cash from. Your room. I ain't got nothing on me. It was in your room. I found it. Mm. That's why I'm in an RP. Yeah, I didn't get profiled. It's okay. <laughs> you said guy in red. <laughs> Just walk past him. Say snitch. All right. Well. uh... Mickey, I'm bringing the I'm bringing the uh, trooper. No, I'm bringing a sheriff up. What's going on, man? How you doing today, sir? I could be doing better. I got this motel room, and my my neighbor he's he, he, he keeps following me, man. Okay, hmm. I got it. Um, so he um, since you guys already know each other, uh, he called us out today for noise for noise complaints, uh, claiming that claiming a few things. Um, I'm here to try and get the whole story, both sides, and then also trying to get, um, just something, something, what, what's, what's going on, okay? So I'm trying to, that's what I'm here All for. All right, so. Do you mind if I look around the room, because there's been something said from him that concerns nah. me a little bit? So no. So do you mind if I poke around the room a little nope. bit? Nope, I just literally got the room that five, ten minutes ago, so, no. I just got here, and when I got here, the, that dude down there had a gun up to my cousin's head. He, was, he, was, he asked us if we want to buy weed. We said no. He pulled out the gun and put it to my cousin's head. And he said, really? You look like the type that would smoke weed. And I said, that's profiling. He said, yeah. He was like, well, this gun's going to profile your friend. I'm going to pull the trigger. And then, well, then he started complaining and playing loud music. And I just said, you know what? Screw this. And I went back to my room. And then I tried calling the cops. Okay. Uh, which, one, which room are you in? I'm in this room, uh, right, 21. That's 21. Oh, and in my God, cousin, and my neighbors. Yep, and I'm searching. He ain't searching. Yep. I don't. I don't got nothing so, in there. So, all right. You mind if I peek around, anyways, just to make sure? No. That's profiling, yes, man. Yes, I yes, you do mind. It's not, sir. It's not profiling. We have a report. I just have to follow up on that report. So we can do the same exact thing to him. Okay. Yeah, I'm but I'm just trying to figure out what is going on. All right. Yeah, but if I was the one that called 911 on him and you're asking to search his room, he would be like, nah, that's messed up, man, because it's just my neighbor calling the cops to me. So, no, he just called the cops. He just He's just trying to get me trumped up with charges, man. Well, you see, right now, he's the uh, trooper over there is actually going into his room and looking around. So, if you don't mind if I look around your room. Yeah, I mean, if he's going to let someone look in his room, yeah, come on, let's go look. I'm giving him nothing. Cause bag on the bed. So, I'm so I just like said I can smoke in a joint. Yep. You're just my cousin. You're just here witnessing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just a witness, bro. They asked to search my arm. I'm finna be like, nah. Oh wait, by by the way, priority is um ready. Oh yeah. By the way, the that the hundred dollars I stole from Jeans in your room. So don't let so them search your room. Anything. You know that's the what? So the hundred dollars I stole from Jean is in your room. Don't let them search your room. I hid it in your bathroom. Just gonna go put that in my wallet, quick. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> yeah, go in there, do GM. It takes the hundred dollars and puts in the wallet. I just literally got the room. It's whatever came when I bought it. He puts it in my bathroom. Yeah, if I put it in your bathroom. Okay, so uh, you said you just bought the room today. I just got the room today. Okay, what room were you previously in? This is the room that I. That, this is the room I had. I was previously in no other room, but this room. The room next to it. Was that be number ten? No, the room next to me is room twenty-one. No, that other one over there. I believe that's twenty. That's my cousin's room. He just literally got the room today okay. too. He literally showed up like a few hours after I was here, and Gene was here with the trying to get me to buy weed off him. Takes hundred dollars and starts and do me a favor, hang tight in the bathroom wallet because I'm not talking to him, okay? Just so uh, you know. Alright, thank All right. you. Whoops, my bad.
you're fine. I'm just smoking one. You see my blunt on the floor right there? Yeah. <laughs> I accidentally dropped it. Just like, you know, kick that away quick. I let, I, I let him search your room, man. There's nothing in there. What's, uh, what's in your hand there, bud? Man, you search my room. You got no reason to. <laughs> yeah, that looks like proper calls right to me right there. That's, that's, a, like that's a cigarette, man. It's a fucking cigarette. Yeah, I roll he, my own cigarette. Yeah, they're too expensive just, to buy. Yeah, it, <laughs> it smells kind of weird. It smells like a cigarette to me. No, it doesn't. Yeah, do T slash me smells like cigarette. I'm not supposed to so, cigarette, so we get sig. Oh fuck, wrong one. I don't know about that. Hey, they don't got no so RP where you can roll your own cigarettes. So is if it smells like a cigarette, right? If it is a cigarette, then why do you keep going through the smoke? Because the smoke that burns off that doesn't get your nicotine. It, the smoke that you inhale gets it. Us. Don't ask questions. The stuff, got our own ways, off, bro. the stuff that actually burns off actually is bad for you. That's what gets you lung cancer. We, we got our own ways, don't we? I don't diss on you the way you smoke a cigarette. I mean, if he gets lung cancer, he gets lung cancer. That's on him. Let yeah, him do man. what he wants. It's be difficult. Nah, I know exactly. Uh, that's how Jimmy Long is. That's how Jimmy Long is. Looks like Breck over here is a bitch, too. <laughs> yeah. I love how we're in we're like under a canopy but yet we're still wet. Yeah, I know. Actually no, the rain's angled. Yeah, it's angled. If you look at it, it's angled. It, it, it can hit us. Yeah, it can hit us, and especially if the wind's blowing our way. Yeah, yeah. Now the wind's actually blowing uh, to our right. Yeah. The way we're facing to our yeah. right. That's the way the wind's Yeah, but I took the hundred dollars and I went in your room and put it in your in your bathroom and you put it in your wallet. I don't know what so you mean. There was no hundred dollars. I don't know what you're uh, talking about. So man. that's why I said, you know what? Yeah, he could search my room. Now, if he would have searched your room and you never would have picked it up, yeah, he would have found it. But, uh, but you grabbed it, you put it. So my wallet. Yep. So that's your hundred dollars. You came from L.A. and you brought a hundred dollars down here. So I'm spending money. Hundred? Fuck you, mean hundred? Check my wallet. If gonna be bands in that bitch. Oh, well, of course. But I'm talking about the money that was stolen. A few moments later. So you guys are saying that he was trying to sell you guys weed? Yeah, he asked my cousin to buy some weed. My cousin said no. He put a gun up to me and said, well, it looks like you'd be the type of person that would smoke. I'm like, that's profiling. You can't call my cousin that. And he said, yeah. yeah he's, he said, this gun's got some bullets I could call whatever I want to call him. I'm from South LA. That's how I dress. People keep dissing. And technically, he shouldn't have a gun. He's a felon out in this state. Of course. Um, do you guys have any felonies or anything like that? No, no. I don't. He does, though. Plenty of them. Oh, okay. And uh, so he told me that anywhere that any time that he posts like a, a, a hotel or a motel or anything like that, you guys are always following him. No, like that. He, he's always following me. Every place I bought or rented, he's yeah, so followed he me. So he says he's been here for two days. No. You said you just checked in this morning. No, he wasn't here for two days because when I was here, he literally just showed up and he literally had the key for the room and his bags and everything yeah, on him. Question. Where is his car? Is this car that truck over there? Yeah, he's got that truck. Yeah, it's that C10 or whatever. Okay, that's, uh, alright. So, um, here's the, here's the problem with that, right? Is if you said you showed up after you, you said you showed up about two hours ago, right? Yeah, about a few hours ago I did, and then he literally yeah, showed, showed up. two hours ago. Yeah, he showed up. I was here a little bit before him, and then when Dean showed up, he had a duffel bag, and he had, like, stuff in his mouth. He was carrying a lot of stuff, and he had the keys. He dropped everything he in front of the door. He showed up after us, actually. Yeah, and then then he, he came. We were sitting outside of our rooms. I was, you know, I was smoking my cigarette. He was, I, I think he had a drink in his hand or something. Yeah, because I came. This guy come walking past us, and uh, he, had he all, said howdy to us. I don't think you guys, uh, a guy walked past you? Yeah, he it was Dean. Guy guy like, he, walked, he walked past He us, had the green and, shirt. Like, but, and uh, he said howdy, guys. We said howdy back. And then my but then he went inside. Back. Then he went inside changed into like a biker mm -hmm. outfit. And then he noticed, and then he was like, yeah, I think that's, that's my old neighbor or whatever. We got beef. I was like, all right, I got you. Yeah, and then, then he was like, well, then he said down. he's not selling us weed anymore. And then he started saying that my cousin looks like the one that would buy it, profiling him, put a gun out to him. And then I basically said, let's go back in our room. And we called the cops. And then apparently he said he was calling the cops. Okay. What? It's a... He hears us. All right. Um, you guys can go ahead and do what you guys were doing i just wanted to get the full side of your ass's story i'm just going um, to pay for it, another it night kind of shaky all right thank you for your time gentlemen yep all righty well, definitely fucking get a snitch hold of fucking felon hey fuck, hey, dude, hey, fuck off
He said childish shit right there. Come on. <laughs> yeah, what a little. We always yeah. do shit like this. Yo, ah, uh, you trying to go whip around the car now? <laughs> trying to go whip around the car now? Uh, I'll, I'll, we're still gonna be causing shit here. I will. Uh, what you need from the grocery store? Pick me, pick me up some of that oregano if you catch my drift. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Wait, I don't catch you drift. Actually, I'm a little slow. The green. Oh, you want some lettuce? Yeah, I want some lettuce. I just call it oregano. Make a salad. Yeah, make a salad, and then make pick up, and then pick up some junk food because we're gonna have the munchies. Oh fuck yeah, we are. What what you want to drink? Shit, give give me a give me a sprite or the the starries now. You getting the Gatorade as well? All right, bet. I think I'm buy a little bit of vodka if you're alright with that. Hey, when we walk past, call Gina Felon. I will. Sure. Fucking Felon. Felon. Right, for for right now, all of y'all just head back up here. <laughs> alright, I'll be back. Alright, man. <laughs> I'm being profiled out you? <laughs> yep. Because you got that mask on. Because I got that mask on. Yep, and plus Gene tried saying that you're, you're selling weed. Oh, wait, did he? Apparently. And the cops thought you were smoking it, too. Yeah, for real, I ain't smoking no weed. I mean, it was, but, like, I ain't smoking no weed. Yeah, so you just rolled your own. Rolled my own, rolled my own weed. What the fuck did I just watch you do? Holy shit, I think I'm speeding. Oh, I got a cop behind me. Shit. Damn. I'm like, you go bro. Just keep, Fuck you just, think just this is, walking, bro? Snitch. Keep walking, snitch. Cop caller. There's some dude just dr like almost crashed into me opposite lanes of I'm traffic, go bro. Fuck go fuck yourself. Oh. I need a shift, bro. Shit. No. You broke. You broke my eyes. My eyes are broken. Six and a half hours later. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Jimmy Long here. I got a new Barracuda. I traded in my car. Some old guy. And I'm just sitting here chillaxing. It's snowing out. This thing's terrible in the snow. I mean, it's got good traction, but I mean, I like to drift, so that's why it's terrible. It doesn't drift that good. But yeah, I'm just sitting here. I just got done seeing the Panics game. The Panics lost, so I'm just sitting here smoking my vape. A little stressed out because of work. At the arc and whatnot. So I'm just sitting here vaping my vape, you know. Fuck. I thought I saw like a cap or something. Yeah, but I just got done seeing the panic scheme. I'm a little stressed out, as they said. I'm just in this car. I'm a little broke because, well, my house burnt down and I. Got my dad talking to this guy. Apparently, there's this house that he's gonna find, and he's going to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be renting it, or I'm gonna be like for. It's gonna be like a lease or something. I don't know. But right now, I'm staying at like uh, motels and whatnot. Fucking Gene, fucking knocked me out, and fucking left, and knocked me out twice, and got to fuck away with it, fucking asshole. But I can tell you this. Motherfucker, he tried killing me like multiple times. Still alive. He knocked me out. Guess what? Still alive. And guess what? Probably gonna go find you and fucking kill you or something. Get my cousin. We're gonna fucking jump you or something. I don't fucking know. But hopefully I don't fucking see him again. He may have fucking hit me, but hopefully I could just get this new place that my father's been helping me try to find and get this lease and it'll be mine. Just mine. No, no one's gonna be living with me. It'll just be me. I mean, if I had a friend, I'd probably say, "Hey, you wanna, you wanna share a room or something? Like, I got a spare bedroom or something like that." But if there, like, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, I never really checked out. My father said it's a nice house, but it, I, I, I wouldn't share it with no one, you know, unless it was like a friend of mine.
But yeah, I fucking got a nice bike. I got this car. My dad hooked me out and fucking. Oh shit. Oh shit, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Hey man, what's going on? Hey, man, can you hear me? Hello? What's hey, going on, man? Hey, man, what's going on? We uh, we got a call for, for a blue car that was smoking. Yeah, I'm just sitting here smoking my vape. I mean, it's not weed or anything. It's like nicotine from the gas station, man. Yeah. Uh, I just pulled uh, over. It's getting foggy out. It's getting dangerous to drive in this weather. Yeah, well, I see that. Well, I mean, are you all right? Nothing. Oh yeah, I'm fine. I just pulled over. I figured I'd just relax for a minute, smoke my vape. I don't smoke cigarettes anymore, so I'm trying to do this to try to like stop, you know. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, we just we got a call saying that there was a blue car that was smoking. So. Damn, fucking those locos, fucking snitching at me. I'm not smoking. Uh, I mean, I mean yeah. I'm smoking, but like not smoking what you think I'm smoking. Yeah. Can I ask how, how old you are? Oh, I'm I'm twenty I'm twenty eight. Twenty eight. Cool. Alright, well, I mean, there's not much more I can do here really for you. I you know, other than just checking up on you, making sure you're alright and everything. Yeah, I mean I'm just sitting here just vaping my vape. I just pulled over, it's getting a little dangerous. I got my father to come tell him to pick me up. Okay. Alright, well, as long as you're alright and, you know, you're not feeling crappy or anything. Nah, 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 I'm just, I'm just sitting here smoking my vape, man. Alright, well, um... Ooh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, my bad. It, it gets a little smoky in here. Yeah. Um, can I, can I just get your license if you got that on you? Just so I can... Just yeah, I want to check it out. Hey, I could be working on my name. <laughs> He's got me. Name's Jimmy Long, man. Okay. All right, Mr. Long, and you said that's just nicotine. There's no, it's not weed or anything like that. I mean, there shouldn't be no weed in here. All right, let me <laughs> let me go run your name real quick. All right, man. All right, man. <laughs> There, there we go. Yeah, let's just grab this one. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, sh oh, oh, sh shit. What's going on, man? Step out of the vehicle for me. Just...
Whoa, what's, what's going on, man? All right, man. Whoa, get that laser off me, man. That, that, that's scaring me. I'm not reaching, man. I'm not hey, reaching. Bring them over to you, yeah, because I got long gun. Holding car, you got him. Yep. Go 113, 161, let's clear car. What, what, what's going on, man? All right, so you have an active warrant, okay? And you ready to pop trunk? And uh, I'm, I got a heavy, heavy whiff of some Yo. of weed coming from your vehicle. All right. Weed? And I, I don't smoke weed, man. Uh, well, that's not what I was smelling. All right. All right, man. So I am just, I'm gonna pat you down real quick. All right. Just make sure you ain't got nothing on you. You don't have anything on you that's gonna poke me, stick me, hurt me. Nah, man. Nah. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and search you, all right? All right, we're clear. Looks like some illegal modification back there. It looks like a nice thing. All right, cool. All right. I am gonna place you in the, in the uh, back of my vehicle. You're not being placed under arrest at this time. You are just being detained currently until we sort this out, all right, sir? All righty, man. Mr. Long, is that a nice tank in your trunk? A Nas tank? It shouldn't. Yeah. Be. It shouldn't be. I mean, I bought it from someone. Okay, it looks like a Nas tank to me. Yeah, the I mean, way it's set up, lines and a bottle like that, metal bottle. In the yeah, back. I mean, I uh, bought. I mean, I bought it from someone. I mean, that doesn't work. Yeah. I mean, but yeah. Okay, so it's not hooked up at all. Nah, I can't use okay. that. All right, is there anything in that vehicle I need to know about? Nah, man, it should be clean. I just bought it like not even a few months ago. Okay. All right. Hey, Mr. Long, you uh, remember vandalizing any vehicles or anything like that in the past? Nah, man. I just... Nah, I didn't vandalize anything. I, I recently, like, not even, like, a few days ago, got knocked out by my neighbor at the motels. You guys didn't know about it, and he left. Yeah. All right, all right. He vandalized my car, and you guys let him get away with it, and he knocked me out twice, and somehow he got away with it. That's not what our warrant says here that's written up on you. What, what does the warrant say? Because I didn't vandalize anything, man. That's not what the warrant says, bud. What, is it, what does it say I vandalized? Well, it says uh, that you... Hold on, let me get it. Uh, you vandalized a vehicle that was... And it became greater than $10,000. Nah, that doesn't make sense. I never vandalized any vehicle. I could guarantee that for a fact. Well, hey, Mr. I'm Long, gonna... respond to the sky chat for us as well, please. Yeah, man. Well, uh, unfortunately, that's that's not that's not what's here right now. Unfortunately. Yeah. Um. But let's see what else. Got something here. It smells like marijuana, possibly. Yeah, I was getting. A, I was getting. A, yeah, I was getting a heavy whiff okay. of that, that marijuana earlier. I'm on. telling you guys, I don't All smoke right, marijuana. Sir, so you know, so you know, if you do realize marijuana is still illegal in Wisconsin, right? I don't smoke marijuana, man. Okay, CBD is considered marijuana. I didn't know that. I bought it at the gas station. Which gas station? The one down by Grove Street. Okay, uh, they permitted to uh, sell that. Yeah, it was some black guy behind the counter, and he said, hey, he's a, he looking to buy some CBD? And I said, what's that? He was like, it's like vape, but he was like, it's not weed. And I was like, okay, and I just bought it. Uh, okay, okay, CBD, okay, the C stands for cannabis, dude. That's weed. Oh, I didn't know that. I mean, as I say, I don't smoke weed, so I don't know the terms of weed and whatnot. I'm a, I'm a young kid. Okay, so also there's also a dark web post of CBD. So, yeah, so you did not buy that legally. Just saying. Oh well, I mean, he said he worked there. Yeah, he probably lied to you. He probably did, fucking liar. Okay, so okay, so tonight you will be charged with uh, with possession. All right. Ah, oh, come on, man. 
It's a misdemeanor charge. Don't worry. Uh -huh. And paraphernalia. Yeah, that too. That's that's see, those are both misdemeanors in this state, so you should be all right. Okay, man. I, I didn't I didn't I didn't know I was gonna go to jail for that. I mean, he said he worked there at his buddy. One thirteen. Let me get County Tow started. Eight five eight in the parking lot of the arena. All right. Well, if you don't got any more questions for these guys, and if they don't got any more questions for you, we're gonna head down to the station. All right. All right, that's fine, but I can tell you for a fact, I never vandalize any cars. I swear on my mama's grave, man. I mean, We're all you, good, you, officer. Appreciate it. All right, yep, I'll take them. All right, we're going to head down to the station, all right, bud? Hey, right, man. A2, one, show me 10. And the funny one, thing 10, is, 15, before I start recording, station. ladies and gentlemen... Technically, I got pulled over like five, six times. Surprisingly, no warrant, but yet. Yeah. Mr. Long, you said you're how old? 28 years old, sir? Yeah, I was born in 95, man. Yeah. You should be smart enough to know. I mean, you live here now. You should know what. what well, I, li I live out in the county. I never really come down here, but I did decide to come down here today to see what the city's like. and... I had to get some gas, I went to go buy me like some strawberry rails and like some water and whatnot and then the guy that was behind the counter, I mean there was like two guys behind the counter but he was kind of behind the counter but not all of behind the counter, but he said he worked there and the, and the and the guy at the cashier didn't deny it, he said yeah, he shook his head yep and then the guy sold me the stuff and I was like alright man and he said see you next time. He was wearing purple though. That just, uh, he, you said he was wearing what color? He had a purple shirt on. That would be... Those guys, most of the guys around here in the city that are wearing purple are drug affiliated. Oh, damn. They're just trying to make their money. Oh, shit. I didn't know that, man. My bad. Hey, I'm, 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 I'm new down here. Like, I'm, I live in the county, man. Yeah, I get it, too. I live down there. You know, I, I run a house down there every now and then. I'll stay down there for a little bit. I just decided to come travel up here, and, and that, now I know I'm not coming back because people are trying to just trump me up with charges, man. Yeah. Especially yeah. whatever that that warrant. I never vandalized anything. I swear on my mama's grave, man. Yeah, well, I mean, unfortunately, there's not much I can do about that. I just got to do what our papers say to do. You know, man. I guarantee it was my neighbor Gene that probably snitched on me and just did this to get me to go to jail or something because me and him had problems. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna tell you this, I'm not I'm not fluent with this station. I don't think I've ever been to this station. I guess I found the cell rooms. Oh yeah. This oh, is new to my eyes. I I never seen this before. You're the first person I've brought here, you should feel honored. Yeah, I do feel honored. I wish it was under better circumstance. If I can figure out how to get in. Oh there we go. Go ahead and uncuff you, alright? Alright, man. Thanks, stupid. No, I'm not gonna do this, stupid, man. Alright, so, I'm gonna go ahead and get some basic information from you here in just a second, alright? Alright, man. Just, yeah. Just want you to tell me the truth. It's just basic information your name, you know, your height, this, that. And just. We'll, we'll get that dealt with, alright? Hey, Jimmy, what's your date of birth? My date of birth? Uh, that's gonna be, uh... Zero five twenty four nineteen ninety five. 1995. You said you're how old, 26, sir? No, I'm 28. 28, sorry, my apologies. Jimmy, how tall are you? I'm 5'6". Uh, your weight? 
Yeah, uh, like 120, but I could have probably gained some weight before that when this ID was taken, but yeah, 120. What color is your hair? My hair is brown. Alright. And your eye color? It's, well, my dad says it's green, but I hear from other people it's brown because it's always changing colors, so I... I so I, we'll go hazel because that's a mixture. Later. Bet you was Gene. Fucking knocks me out at the fucking motel. Fucking a few hours go by. Fucking. I wake up and it's fucking snowing out. It's fucking. I'm cold as hell. I had to go change and then I had to leave the motels because apparently I was knocked out for like the whole night and then I didn't pay. I, had, well, I only paid for one more night. And that's all I had money for. And I was going to go back to my parents' house for a while. Fucking bullshit, man. As I say, like earlier, he tried killing me many times. Failed. He, he may have knocked me out twice, but knocking out doesn't do anything. Shit. I gave that guy a heart attack. Heart attack's better than fucking knocking someone out, because at least he almost died. Knocking someone out, eh. He could say, yeah, I knocked the punk kid out, whatever. Whatever fuck he caused me, but, I mean, he can't say that he almost killed me. Because he tried, and it didn't work. But yet, I almost gave him a heart attack just by him looking at me, so. That's because he's scared of me. He kept on saying he saw me in Georgia. i never been to Georgia. That fucking dude's on fucking drugs and shit. I've only been in Wisconsin, in Indiana, and L.A. I lived in L.A. first, and then we moved to Wisconsin. And then after Wisconsin, me and my family moved to Indiana. And then fucking back to Wisconsin, man. Because fucking Indiana fucking blows. Fucking, all you see is fucking corn everywhere and fucking bullshit. Fucking drama, man. Fucking nonsense, man. But yeah. Fucking, I bet it was Gene, but it is what it is, you know. Fucking, my cousin, he, he hit me, knocked me out because Gene told him something, but don't worry. I'm going to talk to my cousin because we're family, so he's going to understand once I tell him. Now, he just told you that because he's trying to get you to fucking... And yes, probably during that video as you watched, and this is the ending part that I'm adding to it, basically. Um... Yeah, he may have, uh, told him, and he, out of context, like, but out of RP, technically he wouldn't have known, so, you know, type deal, so, yeah, but, um, yeah, he'll, he'll agree, I mean, yeah, he is wild, he does, he does act a fool sometimes, and people talk shit, he tries to beat him up, and sometimes, yeah, he, he gets away with it, he beats him up, and they're laying on the ground, sometimes he gets beat up, he's got, sometimes he chews his mouth too, like, Choose, ch choose, and climbs and whatever. Uh, the, the, the saying, uh, barking up the wrong tree or whatever. Yeah, that, yeah, that. Fucking, yeah, fucking. He just barked up the wrong tree that night. I mean, if he would have went to jail, then I would have been saying free justice. Because if someone's gonna talk shit, you should have every right to fucking knock him out. And I mean, Gene doesn't have a fucking right to knock me out. Shouldn't be fucking following me. Apparently, he's got a restraining order. I mean, but he keeps fucking following me. Why would you get a fucking restraining order and keep following me? That's fucking dumb. I mean, then again, he is dumb. Fucking worked in his fucking trucks and then they all blew up. Because fuck my neighbor. He's a piece of shit. Real piece of shit. Fuck my neighbor. He can suck. I'm a prick. As this cop sitting here and writing me up or whatnot. A long fucking essay. Apparently vandalism. As I say, I swear on my mama's grave. I didn't do that. But as I said, Gene's probably snitching. and said I did it. I don't know where the fuck they got the proof that I vandalized something. Going by hearsay. There better not have been no CCTV. Because I swear to God, man. I'm fucking tired of that fucking CCTV crap. Feels like that's all the guy wants to fucking pull out his fucking ass is, Oh yeah, hey cops, guess what? I got the CCTV. I mean, I did it a few times, but that's because the cops told me to fucking do it. They told me to set the camera up. Like when they fucking stole my fucking truck door and my truck bed, they told me to put the camera up. If they never would have told me, I probably never would have even done it. But they told me. 
I was like, you know what? I don't got a camera. I got a phone. And I put my phone there and I started recording, man. He probably died just playing music or something. Or he probably didn't even fucking see it. But, I mean, I try not to use cameras. And when he was at my parents' house, I mean, obviously my parents are like old folks. So, they're going to have cameras. I mean, because a lot of the old people like to be protected and whatnot. Compared to me, I didn't give a fuck to have a camera. Like, at that trailer. I know I didn't have a camera. And I'm pretty sure he didn't have a camera. But he fucking burnt my trailer down. And allegedly said I burnt his trailer down. Allegedly. He's got no proof that I burnt it down. But I got proof he burnt mine down. Because my dad said he was driving by. And he saw him setting fucking matches around the fucking gasoline and shit. Which show are you in game ID for? Wait, what? You in game ID? Your ID number? Server number? Uh, one second, man. Um... It's going to be another uh, than server forty four. M dot flowers. And you avoid a death I drop. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Jimmy Willie Long <laughs> Back in jail. But yeah. I'm not sure what that number one call about, as I said. Bradley Jean. Bradley Jean. I don't know, but as I say, this is going to be like my second part to that Jean and Motel thing. Um, and then basically either I got another story where maybe that never happened, it was a dream, or we're going to continue on with that did happen. And then the next RP, which I keep on talking about, my dad's got a house that he's looking about and whatnot, you know, for um, he's going to... Uh, get me a house and that house is going to be a house which has the same lease that gene davis has and we got to share it so that's going to be fun but i'm not sure what's going to be next for the rp he knocked me out got away cops didn't do nothing about it fucking bullshit then i get my new car that i had because i got a new bike and a new car i drive my new car around i mean it's good when it's not snowing but when it's snowing it doesn't drift so i don't fucking like that but other than that i mean I got fucking sold from some purple guy, some shit. I didn't think it was anything. I just decided, you know what? I was in the parking lot. Let's add another part to this. And then that was it. So either A, those guys got caught and they snitched at me. Or B, someone called the cops at me. Or C, they just saw me recklessly driving and then sent cops and then they smelled the weed. So, I mean, I don't know exactly what really happened at the end of uh, what happened at the motel. All I know is I woke up at the motel, and after waking up at the motel, it was snowing, and then I left, started driving around, and then fucking couldn't find the motherfuckers, so just went to the city to get away from the county. Maybe I might try to find a house in the city. I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure where the house is. My dad didn't really tell me. He just said it's a nice house, and he says that he can guarantee, hopefully, that another than Gene Davis doesn't come around, but... Yeah, so I don't know where that vandalism came from because before I started recording, ladies and gentlemen, I got pulled over many, many times, many, many times for recklessly speeding, over going through some red lights, stop signs, like, and I did not whatsoever get told I had a warrant, but yet I buy some CBD from some guy that was at, well, he was at the gas station at the time. I wasn't recording though, but there was a guy that was role playing as a clerk. He was behind the counter with the clerk, and he said that he works there. The clerk didn't say he didn't work there. The clerk went along with it that he worked there, and he said that he's selling CBD. And then he literally opened up the cash register next to the clerk, put the money in there, and sold me CBD. So I'm not sure if they're working together or what the deal's going on. But I bought the CBD and then all that stuff that, well, the stadium over there by Grove Street took place. And... I was just RPing that I saw a panic scheme and whatnot, and then the cop show up. I was just smoking a vape, which technically was a CBD I bought, but, I mean, I had a vape because Jimmy likes to vape, so I tried swapping it. The cop smelled something. He started coughing, and, like, and I said, nah, it's just a vape, and he didn't believe me. He took me out of the car. They found it. It was CBD, and then took me to jail anyways, but not because of that. They probably would have let me go if it was just that, but because of the fact that I vandalized something over 50, which makes no sense whatsoever, then fucking, yeah, so, it is what it is, Jimmy's in jail, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you liked the first part, 
and this part add it to other than the cousin and Jimmy uh, Jimmy Long and the cousin at the motels dealing with neighbor once again Gene Davis and then ended up to many many like hours later after he knocks me out the second time nothing fucking happens they don't take me to jail me just saying screw it trying to find him couldn't find him out in the county so I came out to the city and then as I said I wasn't planning on recording anything I was just in here playing for fun because it was snowing I wanted to drift around and have fun and then basically after I bought the CBD I was like you know what let's record something you know what I'm gonna record something because I do got stuff illegal on me let's just record so I started recording and then basically as I'm sitting there I kept hearing sirens but I mean I know that they were kind of looking for me because I know that I did some 911 calls on myself saying that I was illegally drifting and almost hit people which kind of I did because I was trying to drift and have fun and snowing out but other than that um yeah so that, that's what happened you saw the first part and now you saw this part so don't forget to like comment share subscribe as i say the next part is either going to be like this was all a dream for me and gene gene thought he did all this i thought i did all this i thought maybe i went to jail maybe i didn't go to jail but then i see that the records are there so it seems real but i don't know how i went to jail i don't know how that would work out with it to figure something out or maybe uh it did happen, but I know the next RP scene, I me and my buddy, goddammit, Danny's been talking about this for a while, is Gene and Jimmy, they're going to get a house, sign the leases, which I've been talking about my dad's trying to find a house, and the house that he's going to find is going to be for me, but he's not going to be smart enough to read the lease and listen to the landlord, and the landlord's going to buy, um, sell him and whatnot, a lease for me for six months, and it's going to be also another lease that's sold to Gene Davis for six months. And the contract on both leases say that we got to share both bedrooms. Or if it's a one bedroom, we got to share both rooms. So either one gets the couch, one gets the bed. But and then I'm going to show up with my moving van and then he's going to show up. And I'm going to be like, no, 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 get away. This is my house. He's like, no, this is my house. And we're both going to show the, like, the paperwork and then cops are going to get involved and we'll see what happens but we've been having something planned out like that so we'll see how that happens but in the meantime ladies and gentlemen thanks for watching part one thanks for watching part two don't forget to like comment share subscribe and i will see you all next time